Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about my Yakima off-grid rooftop cargo basket. Welcome back and thanks for being here. I really didn't think I was going to do a review for a basket, but I've already got the rhino rack mounted for the video I shot a couple of weeks ago and I'm doing some cleaning in the shed and needed to make some room, so I tossed a basket on the car and since it's here, let's talk about it. Uh, first, uh, I've been asked a couple of times, which do you prefer, the cargo basket or the rooftop cargo box? Which looks better, which works better? And that really depends on your wants and needs. Uh, real quick, a cargo box, it's probably more aerodynamic. I think, uh, well, it certainly will protect its contents from the rain and weather. And looks, that's pretty subjective. The limitation of the rooftop cargo box is you can only carry what will fit inside where the cargo basket, you can stack things as, as high as you want, possibly to ridiculous levels. And so a basket can carry a larger object and the box can carry it weather protected and more secured. So those are the big takeaways for basket versus box. I do prefer the rooftop cargo box over the basket. Uh, onto the basket here. This is uh, by Yakima, and right now I have it set up in the shortened configuration. This is the medium basket. It's 40 inches wide and 44 inches long. There's also available an 18 inch extension. The 18 inch extension extends the length of the basket to 62 inches. And that's how I originally bought it. I bought it to put on my utility trailer for when I'm supporting bicycling events so I'd have more room for carrying a double deck of stuff. It'll fit like that on the car, but it is a monster like that. The length of the roof is right around 60 inches. I don't remember, I haven't measured in a while, but what I'll tell you about it is, you know, I, right now everything is centered up on the crossbars very nicely, front and back. And with the 18 inch extension, which would basically go here in the middle, each piece extends nine inches, right? So nine inches takes it about to the edge of that antenna. And then here in the front, that nine inches will take it to about here. And what happens is the wind blows up the windshield and then it goes up and through these bars. And it makes a terrible amount of noise. It's, it's not bad if the, uh, if the basket is loaded because then there's something blocking the air from going through here. But when the basket is empty, it's terrible, absolutely terrible. But what I've discovered, uh, you know, I took out the center section because I wanted to see how it sounded on the car. And with the center section removed, the wind is more likely to go up the windshield and blow maybe mostly over top of this fairing and much less of it going up underneath to, to make noise. And speaking of this fairing, this fairing is very easily removed. There's, you just remove this clip. There's what, four, five, six of them. And then the fairing comes off and then I can carry long things. I like to put uh, lumber up here. The carrier also has a couple of cross bars. They are right now set up in the points where they are mechanically strongest. Oh boy, here comes the wind. Yakima insists on having the rear bar in this position so it's locked in anytime you have a bicycle mounted. What I want to do for most of my other cargo is the problem that I had with it whenever I put coolers in here is the weight of the coolers actually was still able to push this bar. Uh, if it wasn't locked into one of these, and let's say I had it up here, it actually pushed the bar forward just, you know, like with a 40 pound cooler. So what I want to do is put some self-tapping screws about right here, just tap it in, and then that would serve as a block. That way the bar cannot push forward. And so that's, that's a plan that I'll, I'll do in the future. It's, it's not immediately necessary. Mechanically, everything is holding up very well on the basket. I see just this one little speck here where a piece of the uh, powder coating has chipped off and then there's a little bit of rust under there. And that's, that's nothing. I can just take a wire brush to that and then spot treat it with some satin black spray paint. Everything else is holding up very well. I do have a couple of scratches on the other side from whenever I lay it on its side, but they did not go so far through as to uh, 
damage the protective finish. The way it secures to the crossbar is through this locking uh, bracket here. You can see I've got the uh, same key system, uh, key insert in here, so uh, the same key opens everything and then it just straps along the bottom here. There's not really much else I can say about this basket. It's a basket, they're not very complicated. Some assembly required, but it's all very easy. And then you stick it on top of the, on the crossbars and strap it down. It's, what can I say? It carries stuff and it's easy to operate and it's very easy to fasten cargo to the basket. So there you have it. That's the, uh, the Yakima off-grid cargo basket and a little bit of how it compares to a rooftop cargo box. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll be glad to answer. As always, thanks for being here and I will see you next time. Take care.